I'd like to take you on a brief journey. I want to take you to a world underground which is totally frozen in time. A world where a hundred years ago is like a day. Imagine going down a shaft 30 feet and you cannot see your hand two inches in front of your face. And then you turn your headlamp on and you see this vast space, 100 acres underground. You'd never know it was there. Were tens of thousands of men on both sides throughout the war, living, working, surviving, a place where the shells could not reach them. Millions of young men put their lives on the line for freedom during World War I. And as we face a time of terror, World War I can help us as a nation to remember what unites us and what we're fighting for, what's worth defending. World War I gives us a way to look at ourselves without being right or left, with no politics involved, to see our own vulnerabilities. January 16th, 1919. It's just after the war, it's underground, and I found this space where there were names and inscriptions all over the walls, including women's inscriptions. This is the only place, I think there were nurses, and my sense is, just a gut feeling, that in this underground space, that it was like a party space. <laughs> <laughs> the heroism of these young men haunts the present. I'm sitting in the farmhouse of a friend of mine who owns the land where both the German front line and the Allied front line courses through and for him it's a sacred ground because every year when he plows remnants of soldiers that fell in his field surface. These are sacred memories. Items that are found in the pockets of soldiers who fell in his field. This is a story that goes deeper than race, deeper than class, education. The hero that I discovered, when you look at his draft card, there's an X. He couldn't even sign his name. He couldn't read or write. Yet it was his country and he died for it. At this time when we're trying to discover what it means to be you know, what, what unites us? There are things that are deeper than race, deeper than education, deeper than material wealth. World War I was a pivot point where technology and progress overtook our lives. My work is about helping people to see the real world as it is and to, to be conscious that we are on a frontier where there are consequences for choices. We take people on a journey through darkness to light and always towards hope. And it's a journey that begins with seeing. We hear stories about people putting a note in a bottle, of people who were shipwrecked and would, would pass away and the bottle washes up on shore. There's something that's inside us all that wants to feel like we matter. There are some things in life that can only come from conscience, from the heart. They can't be computerized, automated, or politically correct. We saw it on 9-11 when in an instant people are running into the World Trade Center to save complete strangers. We see it when the lights go out in our neighborhoods. In a split second, the power of the modern world vanishes. All we have left is each other. 